This is East Germany under the Stasi. Uh, it's right at the end of the film, and the central character is George Dreiman, who is a, um, uh, a playwright who is well regarded by the regime and thinks himself inviolable. Uh, but because a friend of his, uh, a leading director, has been put on the blacklist and later commits suicide, he decides that he's going to try and write a piece uh, for the Western press that tells the truth about what is going on under the Stasi. And right towards the end of the film, you, you, you get this, this segment about their plan to test the system. He doesn't know that the Stasi have a room above his apartment and are listening to everything that goes on. So it's, a, it's yeah. really a conversation between two people that could never have happened. Who never had a conversation, e exactly yeah. so. Yes, it is. Although they uh, listened to, or well, one of them listened. But they never had a conversation. But they never had a conversation. Yeah. I quite like that idea, actually, a conversation that happens remotely um, and which has a certain honour about it. It's and interesting, Anna Funder is a friend of ours. She wrote Stasi Land and she said this is one of the greatest films she's ever seen. Said it is accurate in every respect except for that one central lie that she says a Stasi man would never have turned his back. Um, I, it's funny, I mean, I suppose I ought to, in, I ought to appreciate the film because, it's, um, because of what it says about a society that turns on itself. But actually what I really like about it, what really touched me about it, is that little act of thanks at the end, which is understood by... Uh, Wiesner, who had by, at that stage has lost his job, is reduced to delivering leaflets, uh, is a completely broken person, but who discovers at the end that the one thing he did has at least been noticed by the person who benefited. Well, without, without the major untruth, the story wouldn't have had any shape, it wouldn't have made a film, it would have made some kind of documentary, I suppose, but... Uh, by, by embedding that untruth, at least it makes a film that lets the rest of us understand what was going on. Mm. Because, you know, I mean, it ought, to be, it ought to be a warning to any free society that things can develop like that. I mean, Germany's had a really interesting history in the last 70 years. When you think about what, the, what that country has gone through, they've had, you know, one of the most civilised countries on the face of the earth suddenly turned against um, one group of its citizens, uh, or several actually, but the Jews notably and homosexuals and communists, um, descended into the worst barbarity. And, and then um, after, the, you know, after it was divided, East Germany turned on itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's horrendous to think. You, know, you would never imagine such a thing could happen in a civilised society with such a long history.